awoken from my slumber. And now, let's get on with the show. We begin our journey in the French Riviera, a wonderful and charming part of the world, and the crossroads to multiple cultures. This location is a host to many unique and exciting moments. A sightseer's dream, one may say. And like all great experiences, they're much better when shared with friends. Although sometimes that can be a challenge. I think that's cinnamon bun rather than this like man bun. Sometimes. Friends are late. Dude, I don't get it. She just disappeared. Shit. So we missed the train. And sometimes it's like raising a child. Hi. But throughout all the difficulties a friendship creates, like all good parents, we must endure. So no matter the situation, they're much better when shared with friends. Bonjour tout le monde, welcome to our little tour of Nice and we are starting at the Chateau de Nice because it has the best view of Nice. As you walk through the immaculate architecture and the pristine gardens that surround you... Do you know that's actually connected to the sewer system? That's more and more the strong immune system, so it's okay. <laughs> You'll soon find yourself at the Chateau de Nice. Built on a hill in the 11th century in order to keep an eye on all the undesirables, this is the perfect overview of the city we are about to explore. This has to be the best view of Nice, easily. Mm -hmm. see everything. To truly experience a location, one must ask questions. Sometimes you may ponder to yourself. But I guess in some ways they do. This is where my dad went to school. It's so cool, the schools here in Europe, because they're so old. They're like... These walls bear witness to the aesthetic and cultural history of the city. A semblance of the past in a modern flavor. And now we are officially entering the old Nice. It speaks of Italian roots and a fused cuisine. Vibrant and quirky people scattered throughout the pastel hued homes. It speaks of fate and history and creative expression. Brick by brick, this town remains unchanged. speaks to my love of gelato with every modern assortment one can imagine. Uh, bonjour. Uh, can I, get a water? I guess that's what I love about this part of town. <laughs> the old and the new. 
Today is day two and for today we are going to the city-state of Monaco. The crown jewel of European exuberance and class, this is where the richest of the rich come to wine, dine and sip fine wine. And for the petty commoners like Will and myself, well I guess it speaks for itself. Here is a man of many plans. And here is a man unaware of such plans as he has to do the laundry for everybody. I thought we're going to Monaco. To Vintimiglia, Italy. They make it really convenient to travel in Europe. There's a train to go anywhere. You can be in a different country. So we will eat in Italy. I still believe we're going to Monaco. I have no clue what's going on. You okay? Monaco's a poverty rate of zero. Monaco is named after a famous. Thank you, Will. And as you can see by the sun, we started our day bright and early at 11 a.m. to hit three countries in a day. So after a short walk, and figuring out the touchscreen, it never works. They never bloody work. Will struck an Instagram pose. And so begins the longest walk I've ever walked. This is Ventimiglia, and it's a pretty short ride from France via train. It's all uh, near the French Riviera, and we're going to check it out. Apparently, this place is famous for its market, so let's check out the market and see what kind of goodies we can get. Italiana, Italiano goodies. We arrived at the Friday market around 1 p.m. So cool. We had these markets back in Ireland. Also, another thing is you'll notice that there's a lot of like fake goods as well, so it's kind of like greenhouse because the people can come in in their oh, vans oh. and just throw out whatever. Ah, I was just going to say, get, yeah. Filipinas. The Chinese this is like the palenque, stuff. bro. Right? Oh, uh, it's like an Italian it's, no, palenque. No, it's just a palenque. A yeah, palenque is a market. Oh. A market, a market. See, Mads. This place is a cold cut and cheese lover's dream. But unfortunately, everything was closing right on time for the Italian siesta. 100 grams. Uh, see. Oui, uh, see. Two euro fifty, yeah. So after about fifteen minutes of exploring, Will insisted on a traditional Italian meal, and we couldn't find a restaurant that was open or vacant. And as Mads played charades and pretended to know Italian. We found everything was closed, dude. Everything's closed, dude. Damn it. Oh, oh, nice shit, I'm so sad. No, we have to have a meal. We're in Italy. We need an Italian meal. I need an Italian meal. I need pasta, pizza, and rubby. So we found a Colombian restaurant as a hurricane approached. Now, with the atmosphere set, we are ready to enjoy our first meal in Italy. With its gorgeous coasts, wonderful open air markets, and very beautiful historic buildings, it is one of a kind here in the Ligurian coastline of Italy. However, me and Will can't explore much of it because everyone's on siesta. So, we're in a Colombian restaurant in an Italian town next to France. But it's okay, this is one of these stories that we usually will, will always look back on and remember. And we have to head to Monaco soon as well before the, day, the sunlight ends. We've been searching for an hour for an Italian restaurant. Nothing is open for the next six hours. Who even knew Colombians were in Italy? And so instead just... of saying grazie, we say gracias. As Will tried to wrestle with the fact that Colombians travel, the typhoon grew in strength. Bro, when you're walking on the streets, like trash just flies in your face and stuff. And the end of the market cleaning took hold. I feel like this box is a metaphor for a day trip. <laughs> I think there's a valuable lesson to be learned here today. And that's to wake up earlier. But it's okay. We found gelato. 
So after a market, they sweep up fast. It's, it's good that they clean up, you know? So it's time to leave Italy. We lost all respect. Oh, shit. What? We lost all our respect. Okay, that's just all right. Oh. Yeah. You need help? I'll help you. Oh, you got a bird. So cool. Thank you, sir. Oh, God, it's so heavy. Jesus. Thank you. I just have to, we have to like, ver like validate it before we get on up here. <laughs> Yeah. 25 minutes, he said. Oh, How are we gonna get there late? It's okay. I had to carry a suitcase that weighed like 60 kilos. Whose suitcase is Some that? Some random blonde girls. <laughs> she was hitting on you, dude. No, she wanted me to carry her suitcase. <laughs> There's a difference. Excuse me, can you help me carry my suitcase? <laughs> no, she needed her suitcase. She was in a rush. It was just a polite thing to do. Come on. Oh, what a who jet. She knew who to ask. Well, we're going to Monaco, you gotta dress right, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing but a shirt. You scared that guy away. It's okay. I would do the same if I was him. Our train's about to leave. I know, Matt just disappeared to change, and then it's like, oh my gosh, he's... Shit. Where is she? Dude, I don't get it, she just disappeared. Dude. The train left. left. Are you serious? Yeah. yeah. I think it was 25 minutes. It was 25 minutes. <laughs> what? Yeah. That was a while, dude. Did you look for me? Yeah. At the bathroom? They kept warning and saying warning and warning. Are you serious? Wait, wait, we can get the next train, right? Yeah. How long is that? 25 minutes? Yeah. Okay, we just wait 25 minutes. So we missed the train. <laughs> Oh, that's where we missed the train. Oh, yeah. I know. I feel like... <laughs> the guy said 25 minutes. Wait, what's the so other? I went to change in the bathroom. What do you find out? For 23 minutes. No! <laughs> To add to the drama, we just missed our bus stop, so now we're in France. <laughs> oh, damn it. No, that's not the train. There's no train here. It's empty. There's like nobody here. Wait, do you even know if a train's gonna come this way? Dude, that's electric. Don't go out there. What's electric? The rails electrocute you. What do you mean electrocute you? Do you ever see the guys that get electrocuted in the subway because they walk on the... Those, those no. things are electrified. No. Yes, they are. They don't conduct electricity. Are we gonna have to wait 30 minutes here? Probably, you wanna get change again? <laughs> <laughs> 10 minutes or an hour, so it's... <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> no, so, so we have to hour. wait here either for 10 minutes or one hour. We don't know which one, but I guess we'll find out. What? Well, if at least we get some exercise, one. yeah. I'm down, I'm down to walk, I can't sit there, around. There, there. See? Oh, I know. Jeez. Oh, no. Hello. We finally arrived in Monaco at midnight. The perfect time to explore any European city. This is definitely not glamorous. Oh, it can be. You walk slower. After walking 25,000 steps and fueled by Colombian spaghetti, we were kind of getting a little tired. We rented the car, it was really nice. And as Will made Mads carry the 10 pound bags, oh, this, I just need the shot though. and then made the poor girl sprint across the road. I intervened and carried the bags for her. You like Wong Kar Wai? I can't believe I ran around Barak Kai with you guys and now I'm running around to Wong Kar Wai. Barak was a walk in a park to this. It's like <laughs> Mount Everest to the Barak if we had. The hill of Barak <laughs> But no matter the challenge, it was okay. We got gelato. Then went on a two-hour journey back to France. 
time with Michael Myers, you're like a freaking serial killer. Okay. And then you freaking drop it, and then you try and go, no, I can do it. Do it. Okay. Wait, I got it. It's a beautiful day. I love the Franche. So apparently my grandparents met here. Oh, cool. Oh, and the movie Ronin was shot here with Robert De Niro and Jean Renault. This is Villefranche, and it's been our home for the last two days. This seaside resort town has a distinct Mediterranean feel. I've always had a soft spot for little nooks like this. You explore, you absorb, you meet the locals. Charming locals with the refined demeanors and immaculate sense of fashion. This place is a perfect place. The ideal spot to rest and recharge before our eventual return to Monaco. beautiful up here. This is Monaco. It's the smallest country, second smallest country in Europe actually. It'll take an hour to walk from one end to the other and it's home to 32% of the world's richest, pop richest population of millionaires. Yes, 32% of the population are millionaires. There's quite a lot of wealthy people here. There's a 0% poverty rate in this country. But as of today, there is a 1% poverty rate because <laughs> me and Will came and yeah. <laughs> ruined the populace. Okay, so this is the Teatro du Antoine and this is our first stop here in Monaco. Matters to me. I know there's many more to be seen, but I know what you mean to me. I know what you mean to me. This is the Oceanographic Museum of Monaco. I probably butchered the name. And I'm sure it's in French, but I can't say it. You keep me steady, ship on the sea. You hey. me down. Oh, we'll do it. Yeah, we're probably uh, an eighth of walking around Monaco. Oh, God. And so we've got to move in groups. We don't have time anymore. We have all the time in the world, my friend. Okay, let's go. What you mean to me. Okay. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I don't Pardeen, Palai, and Catreda, Dun. Jarda, Jarda, Palais. Catreda. Ah, Catreda. Cathedral. Cathedral. So Will has us going to the prip. So the next stop is the Palais de Monaco. We're doing a lot of walking. I'm holding this 10 pound gimbal. My camera's slowly breaking. I'm sweating. Hopefully these shots will be good. I'm not used to using a gimbal, so it's kind of confusing for me. All these different variations of shots. You can use a drone, you can use a gimbal, you can use a... You have to use a microphone, you can change lenses, you could use a tripod. I usually don't like using gimbals because it's extra weight, but I'm trying my best today by using this gimbal for this vlog here in Monaco. There are many ways to look into the details of a city. Perhaps through its cleanliness or its architecture, or the odes to the ambitions of its past. And sometimes, if you look close enough, you find little mementos of its history, little nuggets of ideas and traits frozen in time. And each detail on its own, owing to every step in its creation. And so, as the sun set on this fine day in Monaco, and we look back over the last 48 hours, perhaps even the last two years. Wherever you are, and whoever you're with, in every step, you gain something. You take something with you. A memory here, a lesson over there. But no matter the process, as the late Anthony Bourdain said, 
Hopefully, you leave something good behind. So now, we move forward. Forever moving forward. Onwards. <laughs>